All right, guys, day three on the interval bodybuilding program. Number one movement that we need to go over is gonna be our push press. So, push press, you guys are gonna have a bar. I need you to go as heavy as you possibly can for 10 reps, unbroken. So if you have to do like seven, stop and do three. Not what we're looking for. Make sure you get all 10 in a row, even though the eighth, ninth, 10th one are really, really hard. That's what we want. If you do happen to break, that's fine, but try not to. <clears throat> so, on the push press, you can take it off the ground or you can take it out of a rack, doesn't really matter. What does matter though, is when you do the movement, that you get a little dip in the knee, so you help out your upper body, and then bring that head through with your arms, or your ears are close to your bicep. So, here's the right way of doing it, is I dip at the knee, punch, lock my quads, lock my glutes, and I'm nice and tight. This would be the wrong way to do it. This is called a jerk, where you dip, and you come under the bar. Don't want to come under the bar. It's a different movement altogether. So again, you're trying to dip, drive, and lock those knees. After you get all 10 of those, you're going to be going into your cardio piece, which today happens to be a skier. It could be any other cardio piece, though, if you do not have access to that piece of equipment. Even if you have to run outside, that is an option. Next is our arm piece. So. A lot of people ask questions about this one. We have something called a 21 set. So the 21 set is three parts of the bicep curl and each one is seven reps, which equals 21. So the first one is gonna be from the bottom to the middle. So I do seven reps, 180 degrees to 90 degrees. And then after I get seven of those, I go from top to bottom for seven reps. So as high up as I can go, straight to 90. And then the last seven is full range of motion all the way down, all the way up for the last seven. So once I get 21 reps, I switch arms, do seven from bottom to middle, top to middle, and then seven full reps again. Once I get all 21 on both, I'm gonna be holding two dumbbells now. It's called a gun walk for various reasons here. It's gonna look like a gun. You're gonna hold right here in the 90 position, and you're gonna walk for 100 feet. So you guys can walk out 100 feet. You're trying to hold this position the whole time. So you can walk 50 feet one way, then 50 feet the other way. The goal is to keep this 90 degree angle the whole time. You're gonna wanna fall a little bit. You might wanna hold it a little bit higher. Try to fight that. And then once you get to the end of your 100 foot walk, you're gonna have two much heavier dumbbells or kettlebells and you're going to go into a set of failure on shrugs so you'll be holding them going into your shrugs and getting as many as you can try to keep a good pace don't like go too fast keep a good nice slow pace time under tension is key uh, i would say grab at least a pair of 70s for men and 50s for ladies if that's your deal um, and just get as many as you can until you literally cannot go anymore once you're done with that you get a rest break and our last piece today is gonna to be hopefully with a partner. If you don't have a partner, time yourself how long it takes you to do it, and then that'll be your rest break. So you're gonna, just gonna have a regular barbell with no weight on it, <clears throat> and you're gonna do bicep curls. 10 for you, 10 for your partner, or the however much time it took you to do it, and it's 10 rounds. So arm today, gonna to be toast. <clears throat> um, and that is all the movements that we need right now for day three. Hope you guys enjoy it. It's gonna be a good one.